general advice to companies who want to achieve better security is that uh, they should move away from the coconut model of security more towards an avocado model of security. Now, that is, uh, let me explain what, what I mean, that's something that most people understand. So coconut model of security is mainly around putting security around your perimeter, making sure that you have a hard boundary and not let the bad guys get in. That model is outdated. You can't do that. The bad guys will find a way in. So that coconut shell has lots of holes in it and you have a full sense of security. The avocado model of security is more a layered approach to security, which he says, you have that hard center, you've got to understand what your critical assets are and you've got to protect them with double, triple layers of protection, make them very unattractive from an attack perspective. But also understand 90% of your, your assets cannot be protected to the same level because if you do that, you spread your investment very thinly and so on. And so you have uh, appropriate level of security for the level of criticality of the asset. For the very critical assets, you spend 90% of your investment putting double, triple layers of protection. For everything else, you put monitoring and detection. So as soon as somebody tries to get into a non-critical asset, you realize it and you respond to it. And that's called layered approach to security. So the, the biggest thing companies can do is think about adding detection and prediction layer to the prevention layer, and then also plan for a response. Most companies take 31 days to respond to an attack after they've discovered it. 31 days, that's almost like 31 days after you change your lock, after a burglary. It's not acceptable, right? So my advice is to think differently about security and to use technology where appropriate to give you real-time or advanced notice of breaches to your systems and then plan for the response. AI is a great technology, right? A lot of us are going to be using AI in our homes and our businesses and so on. But AI has certain vulnerabilities. I mean, there are certain known vulnerabilities to AI systems that would make them uh, a target. For example, poisoning attacks on machine learning systems, right? So the first approach to securing your innovation is to understand the vulnerabilities of the system and plan for uh, um, how to secure them. Sec second approach is secure by design. So don't think about security after you innovate. Do the security during the innovation process. So think of it as a necessary step before you introduce new technology or you build a new product or service. So it's a bit of a change in the mindset, but also it's, it's a bit of a change in the process by which you approach the innovation process.